Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you. I am doing your reading for October 16th to October 22nd. This is a weekly love reading. It may or may not resonate with everyone as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have uh, created a group on Facebook and you will find the link before, below. If you want to go there, you might win a, or you might be able to participate in a mini, mini free reading. All right, it's the link will be below. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle these for a moment. There they are. If you want to know why I don't do reverse, you can find my About Me reading or About Me video. I have been called to do you second for this segment. I did Taurus, which is my sign. And for some reason, I was told to do Libra next. And there's Taurus, the beginning, the center of your reading. That's interesting. There's a Taurus as well. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo may be prominent in your life this week. There's been some challenges. Actually, we're going to use the bottom card, too, for the basis of your reading. And I'm going to zoom that in, but I need to light this incense really quick. Sorry about that. And we are going to go with this. Basis of your reading is the Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. Communication. Sorry, I had to blow that out. Listening, communicating, um, listening to your inner guide, uh, focusing on the future, not the past. Um, I'm just looking at the rest of the cards here. Setting clear intentions. You're probably seeking, gui seeking guidance, okay, either from counseling or somebody from above or from your inner guide. I see many of you are probably going deep, deep, deep within to um, to heal, working on yourselves, probably getting more grounded. Um, you might be letting something go that has been really holding you back. I see that, you know, we have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords right next to you, Maybe, I mean, right next to the basis of your reading. So this tells me that um, many of you are letting go of something. Something has ended in your life and you've decided that you're going to start something over. You're starting to believe in yourself. Um, you're listening to your inner guide. You're ready to follow your own path. I think perhaps something um, has deceitful. You're letting go of it. Something deceitful has happened and you could be letting go of it. And you're bringing back your true essence. Deceitful. Letting go, listening to your inner guide to nourish your true essence, okay? That's what's going on. It looks like you're letting go of something from the past that has hurt you in a very big way. and You've decided to refocus. Um, I think that you're setting very clear intentions for the future and you are definitely focusing on the future. I think new, new, one lesson has been learned. It probably was lesson, uh, learned in a very hard way. I see that you are taking action. You are um, using the inner forces and the outer forces from above. You know, I think you're using all of your, um, all the help you can get from inside, outside, you know, above, whatever. You're using it all to take action, in, to follow your own path, and to heal, and to let this go. Many of you are probably letting go of a relationship, somebody that you have been holding on to for a long, long time, okay? And it's you're doing that by with courage, okay? With confidence. You can't do it without the confidence. And I see that a lot of you are really, really doing it this week. You're like, you know what? This, this has been too much for me. It's really been depressing me. It's been letting take uh, holding me back. You've probably been crying about it, you know, really emotional, um, but this, there's, this is like a counteraction here where one minute you've been, or recently for a while, you've been very 
stuck on a situation where things didn't turn out and you just couldn't let it go and now you've decided, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I'm not going to wait around anymore. It's time to focus on me. I'm going to follow my own path. I'm going to take a practical approach. I'm going to be more I'm going to be more reasonable about this. It's time for me to get my my shit back together. There's been too many conflicts. It's been like there's been power struggles with this person in conflicts. Um it's just been too much for you, all right? We have three fives right in a row. One, two, three, okay? All right, so there's the fives are power struggles, life choices, conflicts, instability. Um, you never know what to expect. One minute it's good, the next minute it's not. It's about also about personal freedom when it's time for you to bring back your true essence. Somebody has been holding you back. That's self-deceit, and I think that you're about to let it go. We have the world card here that says you've learned that lesson. It's time to move on to the next one. All right, that's when the world card comes out. Celebrate your success. You can check that one off the list. You learned it, it's over. It's time you've reached the finish line on whatever that was that was so big, it was holding you back and it really held you back so much that you were just moping about it, crying about it, staying stuck in a situation, just not moving forward. And you're at that point where you're letting it go. You were stuck here, not moving, just, just letting it hurt you here you're letting it go okay you're moving forward you're taking action you're putting these are both action you're ta you're moving forward you're putting yourself in the driver's seat you're saying you know what I'm done I'm done you know what I'd rather be alone and dealing with everything on my myself than to feel this despair you know so many of you are just like you know what I, I matter I believe in myself. I can't have these conflicts in my life. It's time for me to let it go. It's time to me for me to start this new chapter. Okay? The Three of Pentacles is, um, remember I, I mentioned that some of you may be you're looking for all the help you can get from above. This also can signify angels. Angels are helping you. Okay, so listen to them. They're here and they are helping you. Um, we have Cancer. We have the Taurus a couple times. Virgo, Capricorn. I'm just going over the signs real quick. Pisces. We have this card twice now. Seven of Swords. There's been some deceit. There's been some lies. You know, and it's affected your beauty. It has affected your soul. It has, like, stalled you in a very big way because you were stuck on whatever this was that was hurting you so badly. But now we have the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups. I see you leaving it, letting it go, releasing the fears. All right? Even though... Um, there's, you have these wonderful memories that, that will never go away. You have these memories, but I see you letting them go and living with the memories. And I'm sorry to tell you that. You have wonderful memories, but you have bad memories as well. There's good and bad in the situation. Because here we have the Seven of Swords next to the Six of Cups. I mean, there's good memories and there's bad memories. Okay, but you, I see that you're, you're letting go of somebody from your past. Okay? I do. Um, and it's going to bring balance to your life. It is going to bring balance to your life. But this was, uh, this is, uh, there's like something is going to come out. So this was uh, some kind of, um, you couldn't let go. You couldn't let go out of fear, all right, out of fear. Um, and a lot of it has, is fear of being alone, okay, fear of being alone, um, something wasn't there was like an illusion okay there was like some kind of illusion regarding the situation when it, it wasn't um and you couldn't let go because of this illusion that you had in your head that it was it was what it wasn't you know what i mean you had this illusion that it was something that it wasn't all right and now it's time to walk away from the illusion 
all right? Because you're only deceiving yourself by, by keeping the illusion, by not leaving the situation, by you're only hurting your own soul. You're burying your soul by not, by not paying attention, all right? By ignoring the truth, okay? By, and I think the illusion has to do with another person. You know, I think that you thought somebody was your soulmate or your twin flame, okay? And I just, I don't think, I think that you were, it was, it was an illusion and it was deceit the whole time. This is the illusion. This is the deceit. It was, you know, it's caused a lot of depression, a lot, a lot of depression. Um, the bottom of this deck is the Ten of Wands. It's too heavy for you to carry around, okay? It's too heavy. It's absolutely time to let it go. This is a burden that needs to go. There is no reason to carry it another minute. Now you have three tens. Three tens plus the world card. Something is over. And this card, the basis of your reading is saying, are you listening? Are you listening? That's what this card is saying. Are you listening to your inner guide? Are you listening to the angels? Are you listening to somebody that you respect? You know, a counselor? Somebody Is somebody giving you guidance regarding your situation and you're just not listening? These are both. It's time to let go. And you have all these tens. Those are completions. When a ten comes out, it means one phase is ending and a new one is beginning. And you have self-deceit here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. These are my wisdom uh, vintage oracle cards. Vintage wisdom oracle cards. And I'm not going to read out of the book. Well, this is Sanctuary. I will read that one because I'm not as familiar with it. Oh, A vintage goddess sits peacefully in a quiet reflection beneath the arches of her sacred temple. Subtle shades of green represent the harmony found in forests and fields. A lone peacock stands atop a stone pillar. These auspicious birds of protection and watchfulness are said to be symbols of the heavens and the eyes of the stars, as depicted on their cascading tail feathers. Early belief held that a pair of peacocks guarded the gates of paradise. Our goddess Muse wears a dress made from similar plumage. A beautiful jay flies into her foreground, and its loyal and protective nature a fitting presence. For some, the first experience of communion, celebration, and sanctuary begins in the safety and security of the family home. But as we grow, our perception of sanctuary evolves according to how we relate in the world and its ever-quickening pace. In contrast to seeking escape, the renewing balm of sanctuary helps us find sustenance and rejuvenate from within while allowing us to simply be in the present moment. Your personal idea of sanctuary Your personal idea of sanctuary may manifest in the form of a special place, your spiritual beliefs, or the inner refuge of prayer and meditation. Whatever your preference, the appearance of this card speaks to its relevance for your life at this moment. Cultivate a little distance from an issue by nourishing your spiritual resources in the safety of your private oasis. Remember I said your soul several times. You need to nourish your soul. Viewing life from a renewed sense of perspective will help you arrive at a more attuned, at more attuned choices for the future. Hmm. Interesting. So Libra, that's what I have for you. Talk to you later.